Yeah, and, and we do this. We do this often, mm -hmm. not just with the academy, but the academy would be an example where we go away and we do a faith skills training for a week. And we've gone close lately, within an hour and a half from here. So we're gone for a week. And then there's one day where we bring our owls, our older, wiser Lutherans, to come down and visit. And I think the last one, you know, we had maybe 20-some kids there. And there were like 15 or 18 owls that came down. And they were with, with us for three or four hours. And uh, we um, ate together and had a good time. But then we do this thing called interviewing. And the kids still call it speed dating. <laughs> and we can't come up with a better term than that. But we kind of pair up the kids and we pair up the adults. And and then what we do is we give the adults a list of maybe 15, 18 questions in advance so they know what they're going to be asked. And then uh, they can choose what questions to answer or we go through and, and, and ask those questions. But we don't ask them all. We keep our interviews like 12 minutes. And so two kids interviewing a couple adults. After 12 minutes, we ding the bell. The cool part is we train the kids to end with prayer. And so you have a young person at the end put their hand on the shoulder of the owl and just say, Dear Lord, thank you for Mr. So-and-so and the role model he has been for me. Bless him and his family. Amen. And the dolls just go, oh, If there's anything you need in the youth program, you contact me. <laughs> you know? So, so it, it has benefits besides. <laughs> you know, just, just, but the interviews go great. So within an hour, the, the kids will meet, you know, maybe three, four sets, pairs of owls. And so we do that regularly. Uh, we're always bringing them to where the kids are, or we take a few kids to where they are. We're always interviewing, constantly interviewing the owls, and, and parent age people, college age people, all ages, uh, in front of our young people uh, about verbalizing their faith. I learned about a year ago, uh, I had heard that um, the number one item, and I don't know number one, maybe the wrong way to word this, but young people need to hear adults verbalize their faith. That was like the number one growth thing that came out of the study that was done. And so, uh, and that's a challenge because, you know, a lot of us don't like to verbalize our faith and share our faith that way, and especially with young people who we don't know. So we constantly are coming up with creative ways to get adults to share their faith story with young people because those young people need to hear adults talking about their faith. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe what is your favorite Bible story verse or character and why? What does baptism mean to you? What does Holy Communion mean to you? And why do you come to church? Uh, what's a favorite service project that you're involved with? And young people just need to hear that verbally from scores of people, not just uh, one or two highly paid youth directors. Yeah. <laughs>